Hey friends, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel here. Today I'm sharing a haul of the Cray Paper Mittens and Mistletoe collection. I got this from scrapbook.com, which is, I'm sure, a store a lot of you know. Um, if you've been following my channel a while, you know that last year and Christmas in July, I used up almost every single piece of any Christmas product I have. I used up almost everything. And by the end of my December daily last year, I was using scraps of nothing to make my finish my album and luckily I did get a package from my friend Cheryl last year uh, at Christmas time and she included some handmade embellishments in that so luckily I had those to work with otherwise I would not have been able to complete my December daily. With that being said it felt great to use up my things and I gave myself permission that this year I would be able to go crazy with Christmas and buy a bunch of stuff to restock because I love doing December dailies. I do them every year. I'm on, I don't, well, I shouldn't say every year that it's existed, but I'm probably on like number five or six of doing December dailies. I love them. Um, if you're new to my channel, please feel free to just, uh, subscribe. I, ha I have lots of um, videos out every month. Um, I try to post every three days. I do scrapbooking, handmade embellishments, um, happy mail, December daily obviously and 3d embellishments all the things so please subscribe so that uh, You can check out my future videos and I have lots of info down below in the description of all the things I do with my sequins patreon Classes all the things so you can check out down below look around see all the things I've got going on But uh, YouTube is where it's at so uh, yeah, turn on that bell as well. Anyway, let's get into this haul. Uh, like I said, it's from scrapbook.com. They included a free gift, which was lovely, which is this uh, paste, I believe, stencil butter. I'm excited to try it. I've never tried this brand before. The Crafters Workshop turquoise. So it's a bright color. Um, I don't know. It's probably not. Oh, it is opened. I thought it would be like sealed at the top. Wow, that's actually really beautiful. We'll see how I like it. I'm more of like a light color person, but hey, I'll take it. It was a free gift, so I'll give it a try. Um, but let's get into all this. I'm going to show you the papers first. I don't think I got everything in the collection, but I got a lot of good stuff, so I'm excited. Let's open this up. I've actually never seen a paper pad like sealed like this before, so I don't know if that's like a scrapbook.com thing or what it is. Um, but either way, I am really excited about this collection. Um, I did get some other Christmas products from Scrapbook Nerd. I got two Simple Stories collections. So that is something that I will be sharing soon as well, but I don't have it in my hands yet. So I'm just showing you this for now, but I do have more haul videos of Christmas collections coming very soon. So mittens and mistletoe. Let's look at it. I'm so excited. Okay, let's, how should I do it? Let's, oh gosh, there's still tape on it. Maybe I should, uh, take that off first oh gosh I'm ripping paper I actually did just buy new scissors these scissors have seen better days and I did just buy new ones so once I do that haul video because that was actually um we went away recently on a little road trip and um I got we went to like this scrapbook store like in person a real live scrapbook store and uh I got some new scissors that are really pretty. Anyway, let's get into this. I did rip some papers, but it's totally fine. There's 48 papers. I'm assuming two of each, but we will see. Oh, I love cut aparts. So we have cut a cut apart page, um, some three by four, um, some labels, some words. I love this. I might be cutting this out before December daily, uh, December begins so that I'm prepared but I love, I'm sorry, I won't spend this much time on every single page because y'all will get bored, but um, the cut aparts are an important page. But I love like the fonts here. I love the vintage feel, but not too vintagey, you know what I mean? All right, we have red with the polka dots that are kind of distressed. I'll go pretty quick because I don't want y'all to be too bored, but you, you get the idea. I don't have to describe every single paper. Sorry if I'm too fast, but hopefully this will be okay. I could go on and on about each and every paper, but that would probably be boring. Oh, this one's quite cute. Has all the different images. I always find these ones a little bit difficult to use, but I do love them. I, um, a lot of times I'll either do layering on a scrapbook layout with them 
or I will make them into like a three by four card and like just put a chipboard on top and make it simple. Even the branding strips on top are really cute, can be used. Honestly, I usually end up throwing them out, but oh, here's the, the page that's has all the words. So this will be great to cut out. I don't do a lot of fussy cutting, but that one, that's easy. <laughs> cute. Oh, I love this star page. Oops. It's really pretty. Some diagonal stripes, two different color greens, florals. Oh, I love this. I love this paper. That's definitely my kind of paper. This looks almost like a holiday sweater. We got the wood grain classic, the stamps. Oh, this one's fun. It has a little Santa in the corner, like the writing a letter. Oh, I, I always love these houses that they do. These little winter homes. Very pretty. Oh, and we are back at the beginning. So there is two of each, which is excellent, especially for the cut apart state because I love the cut aparts. Okay. So these are the thickers. Not that I need more thickers in my life, but I got to figure out how to use my old ones because um, I hate having too many thickers hanging around. But these are just simple red and green. Um, it's called Warm and Cozy. Uh, but you can see that there's like two different shades, kind of like color blocking. Uh, but there's two different shades on each one. I'm okay with mixing and matching colors. I think that looks fun, depending on how long the word is. But uh, I think it, it looks fun. But you could also just put the red together and the green together. This is the sticker sheet. So I'll just show you what it looks like from far. And then we'll do a little close up. I love that they have smaller pieces in this. Like, they're not all huge or anything. I think that skunk is adorable. I don't know why. Usually, like, Maggie Holmes... I mean, this is cray paper. This isn't Maggie Holmes. But usually, Maggie Holmes goes a little too far on the animals. But for some reason, these ones are just so cute. But a lot of people, I'm sure, are probably like, what am I going to do with a skunk wearing a bow? Like those pandas wearing dresses, you know, those ones. But look at those small little pieces. That is good. I approve of the small stickers. Oh, I love that one. That's really cool. And then some words, some labels, all definitely usable for me. Super happy with that. Okay, this one is called All is Bright. And I am always a fan of these. Uh, so this is a puffy phrase and accent stickers. I'm always a fan of these because I love a good simple title where I don't have to think about the page that day. Especially when I'm doing December Daily, I can just stick a title on. Love easy words too and that. Oh, it's so cute. Um, I love the stars. I think this is great. Definitely usable and not too big either. Fantastic. Love that. Okay. When I laid eyes on these, I was like briefly looking through it earlier, this box. I am just so happy with these. They're so adorable. There's 58 puffy stickers. They're just so cute. Sometimes I find puffy stickers hard to use. I know a lot of people love them, but these are adorable. I hope I find ways to use the puffy stickers because they're adorable. Okay, these I think I'm probably going to use up way too fast, and I kind of wish I got two of them, but they are enamel dots and stars with little snowflakes. Um, here we do get snow. I live in Canada, if you don't know, so um, the, the snow part is applicable to me because I know in the past, well, let's see, this one's called mittens and mistletoe, so it kind of re refers to cold, and I know there have been, um, I think it was snow and cocoa or whatever it was. There have been ones in the past. What, what was the name of that one? Anyway, I know there have been ones in the past where um, it's it's more centered around um, like the winter and snow rather than Christmas. But um, and there are snowflakes in this one, but hopefully those who don't get snow can kind of still um, use this. I don't know. Hopefully. Uh, OK, so we have a sticker book here. This has eight sheets, 296 stickers. I did use I, um, so I had a sticker book, I think from two years ago, and I finally used the entire thing. That was a uh, Christmas one because these have a lot of stickers. So these are the colored ones and they look like they're clear stickers. Yes, they are. These ones are clear stickers. So if you don't like clear stickers, you can always put this on white cardstock, um, to kind of like give it a background. And then these ones are black. I'm pretty sure they're clear as well. Um, 
I really like the black clear stickers because it kind of looks like you stamped. If you put it on your photo or on your page, it looks like you stamped on it. So I really love that or like you doodled or something. Um, so I really like the black ones. And then we have some of the different flowers and things. The holly. And then we have banners. Oh, these are so cute. I love these colors. This is, I feel like this page is a good representation of all the colors. And I love that they filled in the gaps with stars. Um, oh, and these are not clear stickers, I should add. These are just regular cardstock stickers. These ones are clear stickers. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know if I'll ever use that, but that is really adorable. Oh my goodness. Okay, there might be too many animals in this one at the same time. Like, oh, they're so cute. I, I have a love-hate relationship with the animal stickers. We have some little ones mixed in there as well, which I appreciate. Oh, yes, there's always pages where there's, like, just, like, lines of the same um, stickers. So there's that. And these are clear stickers. And then we have more clear stickers. This is adorable. How many times can I say adorable? But it has all different types of trees and some houses and then snowflakes sprinkled in as well. I like that. These are always my favorite pages with the word, the word stickers. I'm sad that there's not more word stickers. I wish there was a whole page of word stickers, uh, but there is this cut part, so there's that. Uh, but I definitely could have used more, so that's kind of disappointing, but um, otherwise, love the sticker sheet. We got the labels and things as well, so could use more um, word stickers, but hey, I still like it. Okay, Woo! We're doing we're doing well here. We have three ephemera packs. Oh, this is Busy Sidewalks. Yes, because I never got this ephemera pack from last year. So I'll do that last, um, just in case you've already seen that collection and don't want to look at it again. But we have two different ephemera packs. This has 40 pieces of ephemera and includes 10 foil pieces. This is 40 pieces of ephemera, includes five foil and craft paper pieces. Just in case you're like looking to buy this collection and you don't understand the difference between them. I am going to open them though to get a better look at everything. So this looks like more like journaling, layering, and this looks like more of the icons. So let's open the icons first. Sorry, I just need to take a seat because um, this might take a minute, but I want you to be able to get a good idea of this collection to see if you want to order it or not. Okay, so we got a bear with Christmas lights. I love these with like the banners, a wreath, mittens, the holly, tis the season to be jolly. We got warm wishes, love that. Oh, the cute little house, bow, tree, wonder. I hope you can see this okay. I might zoom in just a bit. Um, cute lantern. Oh, I love these little floral bunches. Those are cute. And they're they're not too big. These pieces are not too big. So it looks like they have a big ephemera pack with the journaling things and the small with the icons. We have a little squirrel with the present. Um, kettle. Porcupine. I haven't seen these types of like woodsy kind of animals in an ephemera pack for Christmas before, I don't think. This, this, yeah, this collection seems like they finally have changed vibes a little bit from past Christmas collections. Um, I don't know. You'll have to let me know your thoughts. That's really cute. Um, of course, Cray Paper has the same vibes as they always do, uh, but sometimes they can really be repetitive in their collections. I love these hot chocolate cups. That's adorable. Oh, I can't wait for December Daily. Mushrooms. Oh my goodness. It's like they knew I thought the skunks were adorable. They included two skunks for me. Oh my gosh. I don't know. There's Actually, we did find a skunk. Um, we have like a camera, an outdoor camera. Um, and while we were on vacation, we got a notification that there was like something moving outside in the middle of the night. And it was a skunk. So don't know where it's living. Hope it's not living under my porch. But it did walk by our house and it was actually quite adorable. But um, yeah, at least it was at night. If it was during the day, that would be questionable. Okay, so let's go through these. And it looks like more journaling type things. These are so great for me. I love these for clustering and for 
um, layouts. These are great pieces for me to use. I do love that. I do. I think I do like that they separated them though, like the icons from the journaling bits, because not everyone crafts the same way. Um, some people want the bigger, some people want the smaller. I know a lot of you out there like the smaller pieces. Like, look at that. That's so cute. I'm going to love that for layouts and things. We have a tag. Really cute. I love that. Because then you have the option. Because I know a lot of people don't like the big things. And I do have way too many big embellishments um, that I haven't used from, like, Maggie Holmes, like, regular collections. This is cute. I always could use more word stickers. I can never have too much. Um, but, yeah, I do have a lot of Maggie Holmes bigger embellishments but they're good for um layouts I hope it's okay uh, that I'm chatting while I'm showing these I didn't want to like pause and uh oh that's cool so these rip apart obviously um but I didn't want to pause at everything I was saying but I feel like y'all don't need descriptors of every single piece unless you want to then let me know down below and maybe we will in the future do some like descriptors of every single piece or like a long form video and a short form video of a haul maybe i don't know you have to let me know what you think oh i love these with like the perforated edges this one says dear santa that's adorable but i love these for layouts and then this one's cool it's like a postcard oh oh there's two different postcards cool i like that yeah, really cool. That could even like go in as like a little page in your December daily, depending on what size you do. But that could be like a fun little extra page and you could write on it some like journaling or memories or whatever. Um, so I do really like that. And lastly, um, I, like I said, I got Busy Sidewalks Ephemera because it was there and I never got it last year. I actually did not get that much Christmas stuff last year. I got some design team stuff, but no, I didn't go like overboard and I used it all. Um, so I did miss out on a few. Oh, I don't know what this was from. I found that sitting there. Uh, or maybe that was from this. Let's see. Um, no, that was from the other collection. Anyway, doesn't matter. Oh, it's funny how I said that um, older, like, past collections didn't have cutesy animals and then there's like a really cutesy squirrel so I was wrong about that but yeah I didn't get that much new Christmas stuff last year okay so this one's acetate this would be really cute in a shaker I think um so yeah I I just got a few things uh from design team stuff cute this is acetate and gold foil it looks like New York City vibes or something little recipe thing oh cute it's like people making snow angels oh this is cool this is acetate obviously y'all have already seen this but um acetate huh i like that well i am getting very excited about christmas crafting now it's probably my second favorite type of Christmas, uh, not like, um, oh my gosh, second favorite type of like themed crafting. I love Valentine's crafting. I think that's my favorite. I don't know what Valentine's collections are coming out, so that kind of makes me nervous. Um, but if you know, let me know because I love Valentine's crafting. I love all the colors and the pinks and oh, that's so cute. That's acetate. This is acetate. I love the cookie. I'm excited for all the cookie vibes in the um, Simple Stories collections that I'm getting. This is acetate. We got more journaling. Little flags. Words. Acetate. That's cute. Slay what? That's really cute. Acetate. And then some flags. These obviously come apart. Little labels. I am very happy with that. I'm very happy with all the collections. Hope I was in focus there. Sorry, I forgot I zoomed in. Um, yeah, hopefully I was in the screen there. But anyway, I am obsessed with what I have so far and there will be more hauls to come. Like I said, I wiped my, my stash clean last year and I have room for new stuff. So uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you think of this collection. If you got it, what collections you got this year for Christmas crafting, December daily, all the things. Because it was hard. There were a lot of great collections that came out this year and it was hard to choose um 
but I'm happy with this one that I got. And then I got two Simple Stories collections that I will share in the future. So those are the three I narrowed it down to and I'm happy I got. Um, yeah, there were so many more I wanted though. So many more. Rosie Studio, I would have loved some of that. Maybe I'll grab some more. We'll see. We'll see how much Simple Stories stuff I get. But um, thank you all for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And please subscribe and um, hit the bell so you'll get notified when I post next. There's lots of um, Christmas to come from me. All right. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.